right, good day. My name is Dela Imba, I'm your expert doctor. In today's video, I'll be talking about Hespot Act for lead oil. Lead oil is a mineral I did for many years. Uh, shipping to China, I had a rep in China, I was shipping to at the, at the time. A very interesting mineral uh, with fairly good demand uh, around the world. Um, lead oil is a main group element, of course, the symbol PB which means plum bomb. <laughs> it's a heavy metal, 82 um, atomic number. It is soft, malleable, poor metal. It's a poor metal. And it's also counted as one of the heavy metals. Metallic lead has a blue-white color after being uh, freshly cut, but as soon as, as bought, it's soon tarnished to a dull, dark gray Color. That's what you get to see. You don't get to see the uh, the initial blue white color where you freshly cut it. Metallic lead ore occur in nature, and it's a rare. It but it is rare. Lead is usually found in ore with zinc, with silver, and most abundant with um, zinc and silver most abundantly, and then copper, and it's extracted together with these metals. So the common one you find is PBS, lead sulfide, which contains 6% lead. Another common variety, uh, lead carbonate and lead sulfate. These are different ways that lead occur. The lead thing occurring in Nigeria are associated with saline water intrusion in the sediment basin or fracture shear zone in crystalline rock. The mineralization is often associated with minor to significant amount of copper and silver occurring in uh, low filling the fracture within the sediment rock. In the Benue trough, as well as crystalline basement rock, as shown in recent study by Nigerian Geological Survey. Precisely, the lead zinc deposit kind, uh, can be found rather in the following state, from Nazarawa to Taraba to Plateau, to Abia, to a Boeing State, to Bauchi, and even in Abuja. For many buyers, the specification of lead they are looking for is usually from 40 to 75%. Lead is used in building construction, lead acid battery, bullet, weight, is used also in um, alloy and as radiation shield. So it has multiple uses. The demand for lead is not is much, but not as much as what you see in uh, copper about 91 billion and uh, iron about 220 billion. This is about 7.56 billion. Now, there's something, if you have been following this series, there's something you will observe. The people buying minerals, solid minerals, ores, are Asians. China, again, 36% of the market demand, followed by South Korea, followed by Germany, followed by Belgium, followed by Netherlands, followed by Canada. But the largest demand, if you are looking at this, China, South Korea, Germany, Belgium. China, South Korea, Germany, Belgium. Huge demand for this product. Packaging this product is very important. You know, lead can be dangerous. Uh, we've had cases of lead poisoning, killing people. So the way it's undo matters. Like many other mineral bulk shipment, what you see most of the time, it requires efficient loading and unloading. And of course, with equipment and conveyor belt to move it in and out of the ship. For many other minerals, because they occur as commodity under the ground, you need to work towards preventing contamination. Ensure that the storage and handling facility are free from contaminants. Use covered conveyor and storage area to protect the lead ore from dust and dirt. Another issue is moisture. And I'll talk about it under pitfall. Dust suppression. Minimize dust suppression because the dust coming out of these can be dangerous. Ensure that packaging and transportation of lead are complied with national regulation. Why? 
because of the danger. Familiarize yourself with International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargo Code, which provide guidelines for safe loading, transportation, and unloading of this product. For this product, it's important for you to understand that this product can be shipped in containers using jumbo bags, one to two ton bags. And of course, it can be shipped also uh, in bulk. Sorry, in, uh, yeah, in bulk, pouring into. And it's, in Nigeria, you even see small, small bags, <laughs> 20 kg, you know, the double decimal kind of bags. That's the kind that we use in Nigeria. That goes in that kind of bags. If you buy the course, eventually you will see it in the video, the picture of the of the the way we bag it. For shipment, you will need invoice again, you need packing list, you need bill of lading, and certificate of origin. You might need phytosanitary certificate, which is not supposed to be required, but some country might ask for it. Some country will and for almost every mineral, you need the certificate of analysis to analyze the lead content and also know the level of arsenic and cadmium because of potential for radioactivity level. Those has to be kept down. If they are higher, the buyer might discount your price. If you're exporting mineral from Nigeria, you need a mineral trading license. And to get a mineral trading license, you must ensure you are paid royalty. If this Minor drop reality, you pay that reality before you, you do the shipment of the item out of the country. Let me round off with the pitfalls. Let me round off with the pitfall for this particular uh, product. First is impurities. Let all contain impurities such as sulfur, arsenic, and other metal. Implement advanced or beneficiation or processing technique. Monitor and, and analyze the oil to be sure that this impurity are minimized as much as possible. Moisture content again, I've talked about it and I keep repeating it, keep repeating it, keep repeating it. Moisture affect the quality. Properly dry the oil before shipment. Use moisture resistant packaging to prevent moisture that will affect the weight and quality. Then size. Size is also very important. If it is uneven, in size, you are most likely going to find yourself in a situation where the quality become poor because of sampling. But if they are called crushed to uniform size, gravel, particularly oars or sunlight, you are likely to get the right quality for the lead oil. Thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Jeremy. I'm an expert doctor. Remember, this is a part of a whole recording that I'm sharing with you. If you want to learn more about lead ore for export, then you can get the export to ask for lead ore. If you have a question for me, drop it in the comment section. My name is Dela Imibo, and I'm your expert doctor, and I'm signing out.